Spotify versus Amazon Music versus Apple Music. There's not going to be no winner or loser here. It's just finding out which one is best for you, maybe. And I got to say, no matter which service you pick, no matter which service you choose, they're all going to get that job done. It's just about the features. Not every streaming service will have the same music. All right, so let's go right into this comparison video, shall we? All right, so Apple Music on this side, Spotify in the middle. This is the iPhone 6. This is the iPhone 10. And last but not least, we have Amazon Music. As you guys can see, just for you, it's easy to read. It's a nice white interface. Even though I like the dark mode, you know, de depending on the time and the day. But if you're in daylight, this white mode comes in really handy. Spotify is only available in dark mode. So, you know, that to some people, they might hate that. But some, they might love that. So, you have your library. So, this is all the music that you purchased in the past. Very, very old music. I, I haven't purchased music in such a long time. I have Apple Music, Spotify. I have all these streaming services to the point where it don't even make sense for me to even buy an album. This is all the music that you may like. You have your recently played, your Wednesday playlists, Wednesday albums. Basically things that you may like. And I gotta say, that's probably one thing I love about Apple Music. Everything is so straightforward. Everything is just right there. You need it, search, okay, boom. You can search Apple Music right there. And if I could type in Lil Wayne, let's type in that Lil Wayne, and boom. You have all his top songs, latest release, albums. I could type in Drake, boom, right there. Comes up with Drake, a nice little picture of him on the top. And you have its top songs. Easy to read text, so it says Drake. And you also have your latest release, albums, right there on the fly. You even have music videos too, so that's a nice little touch on Apple Music. You even have his About Me page, so he's a Canadian songwriter, producer, rapper. And you have Drake's post, so you have his Connect post. So Apple Music is very, very, very well thought out. If you're very, very serious about your music and you want your music on time, Apple Music is the way to go in my opinion because the artists, they're not playing around with that. They'll drop it first on... Wait, I'm surprised. I'm surprised the notch is covering um, Wiz Khalifa's head. I'm, I find that pretty amazing. If I swipe down using reachability, you can see him now. So, I don't know. That's that's pretty hilarious. Uh, but, because, you know, the notch is kind of like the two eyes. I don't know. Let me stop. But, yeah, that's amazing. And that's something that you might want to consider. You know what I mean? If, if an artist is hot, yo, I'm dropping my album tonight. You most likely they're gonna drop it on Apple Music because Apple Music is one of those popular streaming services or music streaming services. So keep that in mind. You also have your now playing. You know, you can swipe up for the lyrics. Very, very easy to read. So Apple Music, and of course you can save your music by tapping on the plus. This is my first time back on Apple Music just for the sake of this video. I was playing around with Apple Music and I gotta say, I love it. Um, I kind of killed Apple Music on my last comparison video, comparing Spotify to Apple Music. All right, so that's Apple Music in a nutshell. Now, let's compare it to Spotify. This is kind of like a revisited video. Of course, you have your tabs on the bottom. You have your home, your browse, your search, your radio, and your library. So very, very similar to Apple Music, but this time you're not getting just for you. You're not getting the connect. You know what I mean? It's not really as social. This is all about music right here. So if I tap on home, one thing I really love about Spotify, they make daily mixes for you. So all the songs right here. So it depends on the genre. You have all the music right here that you that you may like um, or the songs that you played heavy, I should say. You even have your daily too. So this is a different genre. You also have concerts near you. So this is a pretty handy feature. You're listening to A Boogie. You want to go to his concert. You could tap on that and you could find tickets right there within the app. That's insane. Now, one thing that I don't like about Spotify, there's certain music that's not on Spotify. So if I type in Jay-Z, there's no Jay-Z albums here. You're not going to find it on Spotify. So if Jay-Z is your favorite rapper, Spotify is not the way to go. Which, by the way, Apple Music is compatible on Android. You can download the Apple Music app. Look at that. Compared to Spotify. Look, you have 444. You don't even have 444 on Spotify. Like, that's crazy. You have all of Jay-Z's album right there. Magna Carta. You even have the OG albums right here. American Gangsta. Kingdom Come. Like, you have all these amazing albums by Jay-Z. And you cannot find them on Spotify. Now, recently, Taylor Swift is on Spotify. Originally, she wasn't on Spotify. And, yeah, now she is now.
So that's one thing good about Apple Music. You're going to find a little bit more music on Apple Music compared to Spotify. But I'm going to get to that in a little bit. Amazon Music is pretty solid. You guys can see the UI is a little bit different. It's far more different. You have your browse, of course. All of them has a browse. And you also have your recent, your, my music. And you have, I don't want to say it because I have an Echo device. So you can literally have a voice assistant right here. So I could say, all right, this, this is my first time using it. Play Drake. Oh. Play Drake. Shocking songs by Drake. It's kind of a handy feature, but eh, I don't really use it too much. But I gotta say, Siri, having Siri, right, be able to search your music is pretty pretty nice too, I gotta say. So if I hold the side button, play songs by Lil Wayne. No. <sighs> play songs by Lil Wayne. And it's automatically going to play songs by Lil Wayne. As you guys can see. So that's a handy feature. You can't do that on Spotify. Obviously, they don't have Siri support. But going back to Amazon Music, you know, it gets the job done. You can still search up your music. Um, your search is all the way on the top here, which I kind of don't like. Um, so I have to use reachability. And I got to say, I'm not really a huge fan of the interface. Um, I mean, this is cool. It's cool, I guess. But it's not as beautiful as Spotify or Apple Music and better yet you can still find a Jay-Z album right here on Amazon Music but my only gripe about Amazon Music is I'm not sure if they're gonna get the album first or not um so if an, if an artist say I'm gonna drop my album tonight and you check on Amazon Music and it's not there you're gonna be kind of tight and one thing I love about Amazon Music you can actually tap on the lyric let's say you want to hear Drake say this I love that feature so much. You can tap on the lyric and it's automatically going to play that part. Um, so that's something that you're not going to find on Apple Music and that's something that you're not going to find on Spotify. You know, this UI kind of reminds me of iOS 9 Apple Music where you have the album art on the top and you have the arrow on the bottom, which was my favorite design until Apple ruined it on iOS 10. Um, but it is what it is. And, you know, now you have the lyrics on the top now. So, you know, nice little UI in a sense. The now playing, I should say. But... This UI is a little bit of a, uh, you know what I mean? Uh, it's okay. It's not the best. And of course, you have your My Music. So all of these songs, they're on my laptop right now. So, you know, it's nice that it's getting it from the cloud. So, you know, Amazon Music is no BS. It gets the job done. So bringing back Apple Music and Spotify, how's the sound quality? In my opinion, the sound quality is like about the same. Even though you're getting a higher bit rate on Spotify, so if I go into music quality, as you guys can see, you have your automatic, your high, extreme. So you guys can see the bit rate right there, 320 kilobytes um, per second. Apple Music, meanwhile, you're getting 256 kilobytes. So a little bit of a lower bit rate on Apple Music, but I got to say they sound just about the same. Especially if you have Spotify on automatic, so, you know, it's going to automatically pick whatever um, you know, what's good for your Wi-Fi your connection that you have and compared to Apple music You're just stuck on 256 kilobytes. You can even see what your friends are listening to on Spotify I love that feature a lot too bad. It's not on the app You got to open up your computer just to get that feature which sucks a lot of features You also have something called Spotify connect. So if I go into now playing You could tap on this and you can actually play it from my Chromecast uh, my PlayStation is off, but it is supported for the PlayStation 4, uh, Amazon Echo, Spotify is everywhere. You can even listen to Spotify on your browser. A lot of good features, and if you're a college student, to put the cherry on top, you're also getting Hulu for free within your Spotify Premium account. So, you know, you're getting a little bit more bang for your buck if you sign up with Spotify, in my opinion. Compared to Apple Music, Apple Music is no slouch either, but for $5 if you're a college student, i rather go with Spotify. That's Hulu, man. You get more. You get more for the $5 compared to Apple. Yo, somebody keep on calling me, man. Now, in terms of the pricing, Apple Music is going to cost you $9.99, right? So, for one person. If you have a little family plan, you know, your brothers and sister, your mom, your dad, it's going to cost you $14. And that's not too bad considering the fact that you can link up to six. That's amazing. That's a good deal. Now, in terms of Spotify, very, very similar to Apple Music. You have the same good old plan. And I think one time, I forgot who was trying to drop, Meek Mill, right? Free my boy, Meek Mill. Um, Wins and Losses was coming out, right? It came out first on Apple Music, 
and so much later i think it was like 30 minutes later an hour later right i think it was 30 minutes later it came out on spotify so you know that little bit of a delay it means a lot you know what i mean it means a lot so you could be halfway done with the album in 30 minutes maybe yeah. amazon music is the cheapest now if you're a prime member if you're an amazon prime member you're really getting a good deal so take a look at these prices here all right so prime music it comes with real prime which i highly don't recommend that you're only getting two million songs and i don't think that's enough you got to go with the amazon music unlimited that's what we're reviewing right now four dollars this echo plan is pretty cool the fact how you could just say um echo play the song that goes passionate from miles away i'm talking about passion fruit from drake um so you know that's pretty cool especially if you don't know the name of the song you can just you know say the lyrics and it's going to automatically play that song for you you know this is your basic ten dollar plan but if you're a prime member you're only spending eight dollars or seventy nine dollars a year and that leaves me with apple music you can also pay one time so you know it's a hundred dollars for one year and that's it you even have more you even have your family plan so you can look up to six uh family members so i gotta say the pricing is similar but if you're a prime member you're spending a little bit less money on amazon i know it's not the best comparison in the world but i did try it and i just love the fact how spotify gives you loads and loads and loads of playlists like there's a playlist for anything the spotify community can submit in their playlist the thing with apple now the playlist had to go through a team you know apple is all about the you know lock closed ecosystem but spotify is com it's definitely opposite Anybody can make a playlist and make it public. For features, Spotify is the way to go. If you into your music and you into the culture community, Apple Music is the way to go. I can't even lie with you guys. If you're looking for an affordable music streaming service, Amazon Music is right for you. And also, if you have an Amazon Echo, if you have Amazon Prime, and you have an Echo device, this might go up your alley. And you're saving money, and you're getting the music you need. All right, guys, if you have any questions, concerns, Drop them down below. I'll be sure to answer them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you find this video helpful. If it did, I appreciate it with a thumbs up. If it didn't, thumbs down works too. And other than that, your boy Pops. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.